Surfer girl, this is G.I. Joe, do you copy? Surfer girl. Um, yeah, Izzy. I mean, G.I. Joe. Like, I can hear you, but where do I talk? Girl, talk to the wrist. I gotta fix in the target. Yeah, so do I. I'm talking about the sale sign. Ooh, where? Target is on the move, let's go. Some backup. This week, we're at the Shops at Riverside in Hackensack, New Jersey. Another Simon property, the shops at Riverside provide luxury options such as Barney's Co-op, Bloomingdale's, Louis Vuitton, and Hermes. And while you're here, don't forget to learn more about Simon Youth Foundation, a really great charity that provides educational resources and opportunities to local youth. And after working up a great appetite, check out the amazing restaurants here from Houston's, Morton Steakhouse, and Rosa Mexicano. This episode, we're all about spring trends. So if you're ready for some boot camp action or surfer girl chic, stick with us. That's what surfers do, right? So for our first look, we started with this great little military-inspired jacket that we got from J. Crew, And the military trend was all over the runways for spring 2010. So you can go to the very high end and get, you know, a Balmain, or you can find some more affordable price points at the mall, like the one that we got from J. Crew. I totally love military styles because th there's a lot of utility. For example, this jacket has the four pockets. You can store all your little personal belongings in it. And we made it kind of fun and spring and feminine by choosing the jacket that has their sort of camouflage prints, but actually is more of a watercolor flower. If you saw the Academy Awards, Maggie Gyllenhaal kind of had that pattern as well. So we're definitely influenced by that. But to keep it military, we have this great tank top underneath with the cool camo green and lime green. Because definitely Charlie and I think green is going to be the color we for the spring. We definitely think that. And, and this is a great little number from Splendid that we purchased at Barney's Co-op. So it's totally comfortable, it's casual, and to clean it up we have these really great pants that have a nice slouch and a nice pleat, kind of like the Kate Lanphier uh, pants that we showed on our last episode. So it's kind of dressy, but it's also a very casual Fridays. We tied it all together with, you know, a peep toe booty. And to keep it spring, we have this beautiful leaf necklace just to keep with the season. So this is a great way to do military, but keeping it light and airy and feminine. All right, surf's up, ladies. It is springtime, so I'm sure a lot of you have plans to be in the Hamptons or if you're in a budget, the Jersey Shore. Nothing wrong with that. So we're starting out a little surfer girl look uh, with this great little skirt. What we were really influenced by was the surfer chic that we were seeing all over the runways in a lot of different shows. Again, adding that sort of California casual, breezy, beautiful, flirty look. So we're starting out a little surfer girl look uh, with this great little skirt. It is from Aqua at Bloomingdale's with that same leaf motif and it's in green. And I love that it's sort of an A-line, it's an elastic waist so it's comfortable. And we paired it with this lovely little splendid tee that we purchased from Barney's Co-op. And what you can see, you know, we are definitely big fans of a stripe. You'll notice that. We love stripes. What's also great is it's got a little dip dye action going on here, so you kind of get the tie-dye feel. And the cool thing about the way these pieces are cut is that they're very loose and very comfortable, so you could be wearing your bathing suit underneath. And also, because there was a lot of extra great room in the cut, we knotted it up, show some skin, make it a little flirty. And just to cap it off, we pulled this adorable jacket out of the closet, and it keeps the whole utility military thing with the extra pockets uh, and the, the slate gray color itself with the hood, because it is raining outside if you are on the East Coast. <laughs> So these bracelets are proof that you can be fashionable and have a great conscience. They are from an organization called Same Sky, which works with women who survived the genocide in Rwanda and who are all 
HIV positive. And these women handcraft these bracelets. This one's made out of glass beads and this one is made out of textiles. And every bracelet you purchase, the proceeds go to helping these women rebuild their lives. And it's not charity, they're actually working and building their self-esteem and really learning about how to make the world a better place starting from the ground level. And there's tons of designers out there that are doing that. So do your searches and try to help out and look really cute at the same time. So thanks for watching another episode of Musings from a Mall. Be sure to head to our website for more information on the looks you've seen and other outfit ideas. Oh, Charlie, I see Morton's. Wait, Morton's is back that way. Oh, shoot. <laughs>